DJ Chamus. Greetings people, uh, this is C Vibes Tech. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and share these tutorials if you find them to be useful. So today I'm going to show you how to install mods on Eurotruck Simulator 2 without wasting much time. Uh, let's open our Explorer, click on Documents, and then go to the Eurotruck Simulator 2 folder. And then check if there is a mod uh, subfolder inside the Eurotruck Simulator 2 folder. If it's not there, we are just going to create a new one. We just type mod, the mod in. In order for you to avoid uh, issues like crashing, incompatibility uh, issues, the, uh, you need to check the version of the Eurotruck Simulator that you are running so that you download a version that is compatible. Uh, so in order to do that, you need to go to the .exe file is located. Uh, in other words, it's the file which launches your game in the iDrive games ETS2 then bin okay in my case I'm running the 64 bit I double click on WinX64 right and then right click on this track icon then we click on properties details okay we click on product version as you can see my version is 1.34.0.17 but what matters mostly is the first part of the product version so 1.34 basically is my version let's close that okay after doing that make sure that your game is closed it's not running in the background then you go to your browser there are different websites where you can download your, uh, your mods from depending on preferences but uh, what I'm gonna show you here is applies to any website of your choice okay my website I'm gonna put the link to this website in the description down below uh, and make sure that you have a working antivirus because there's a lot of adverts and redirecting on this website there might be some viruses embedded if you don't have a working antivirus let's proceed the car that i'm gonna try to install is called a handy 2019 go to the search bar i'm gonna type the car name and the product version of my ets so i'm gonna type handy then 1.34 looks like it's the first one right there so it's it's a hyundai santa fe 2019 this uh, number here represents the product version we click on the car name hyundai santa fe 2019.ra after downloading we'll need to extract it but if it's a dot zip there's no need for you to extract because the game recognizes the zip folders or zip files as well so you click on free download if you are on the same website as i am okay and then create a download link start download all right, while it's downloading, for example, the current ETS2 game version, right now I think it was released sometime in March 2022, is 1.43. So most of the MODs that are on these websites, they are for that version with the 1.43. So if you download the 1.43, Best uh, mod version, and you are trying to run it, for example, on a 1.34. Chances are that it's not gonna run, or it's just going to crash your system. That's why it's important for you to check the product version. Okay, your downloaded um, 
mod here is my uh, Hyundai Santa FE 2019 file so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to extract uh, if you are not sure whether it's a dot zip or a dot raw you just right click and check here it's a raw file which means you have to extract it by right clicking say extract here I copy all these files that we extracted and then we're gonna cut or copy all right and then go back to that uh, mod folder that we accessed in the beginning of the tutorial by clicking on documents ets2 and then mod like i said if it's not there you just create it then paste so the game is gonna recognize the dot scs file let's run our game let's click on the mod manager double click on the mod that i just installed once it appears on the right hand side of the panel then it means it's active film then uh, if you have multiple profiles you need to click on the proper profile the one that you are trying to run and then click on continue game double click on that one then wait for it to load all the way to the end let me click on track dealers let me try to check if it's in the DAF folder or something okay i'm gonna buy online to make things faster okay as you can see that hyundai uh santa fe 2019 is right here so what we need to do is we have to buy it but in this case i don't have enough money so what i need to do is to go and uh, make enough money for me to be able to buy this okay so what i can do quickly for the sake of demonstration i'm gonna sell one of my old trucks on sale let me go back to the truck dealers click on DAF or DAF and then buy online again okay since now I have 64,000 into my account I can purchase it so by just clicking on it and then purchase then i'm gonna select the garage where i'm going to assign it to so after clicking on the garage name and then i click on the driver profile then i click on ok so i have successfully purchased that car all right after that um i need to assign it to myself so that i can be able to drive it so i go back to click on the truck manager all right and then i click on the Hyundai santa fe then click on drive it and then yes Then our new car has been delivered to our garage. Let me just press on two to just check out how the car looks like. There it is. You can start it by pressing E, switch on the lights, L, and the headlights to check if everything is working. Okay, so we can switch our camera views to beyond the driver's position and then just look around inside the car. 
Okay, so they, they have it, guys. Uh, the car seems to be working perfectly all right thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe